me hard. And that was the time where somebody asked me, you people, others are stream streaming on live. You see a way he's sleeping. <laughs> and then uh, I had Papa Steve and Papa Ivan had to call for a meeting online. Remember we spoke one night and we had to start something. But I am very sure less than four people in this house were online. Even during that stream, that, that stream live streaming. Praise the Lord. Why the time was bad? Everybody would feel I had to struggle traveling from here to be with my family in Kampala. It was hard. Because all cars had stopped moving, plus only government cars. And I had to look for, I, I remember calling Papa Ivan to connect me. I looked for all means until I reached Kampala. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we sat, I remember it was a double cabin, and we sat over 10 people. <laughs> and everybody is paying 50,000 to arrive in Kampala. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am very happy that I was among those ones who received the portion and beans from the government. Ah, <laughs> how many of us in this, in this house received? I waited you received? Government. How many of us? The government. Yes. No, I Me, I received. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. When I went to Kampala, it was a Friday. Then Saturday morning, we just saw soldiers coming with the portion and throwing at people's doors. Eh? For us, it was a blessing. After that, we also started giving those who didn't receive. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I want to thank God for 2020 because we are here to appreciate Him. We are here to see that God has done great things in our lives. Amen. So I want to encourage someone. 2021, probably you did not see yourself move to another level. I want to promise you, 2021 is here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us use all we can to bless the name of the Lord so that he will take us to another level. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you did not serve God in that time, this is a year. You can do it double now. Or triple. Praise the Lord. Because I am very sure you see a way of 2021 is not going to remain the same. Somebody may be here and you are saying, I expected a big, big, huge number. Yes, we are a very huge number. But people are spread all over the world. Praise the Lord. I was speaking to Rita in the UAE. That is in Middle East, and she sent you guys greetings. Amen. She's there, but her heart is always with us. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know Amen. some of you know Rita. There are people who are not here. Uh, Rose, Casa Rose, today is her free visit. And so you will not see Mama Miriam here because she's there. And there are a number of people who are not here because they are there. Praise the Lord. So we have a lot of a number of activities that are going on. I want you to, to know that UCMA is not about to collapse. UCMA is growing stronger every day. Every day. Every day. We have an office in Maluku, as I talked. We are no longer that UCMA that people knew, where we had no office. Praise the Lord. Today, if you want to locate us, we have an office which has four doors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> four doors. <laughs> On one side. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had such a house? <laughs> Have you ever seen it? Four doors on one side. Praise the Lord. Yeah. For those who have reached there, I am very sure. Some of you might have not counted those doors. 
But here I was very inquisitive. I went ahead and counted it. Oh, how many doors do we have? Four. Praise the Lord. But they are joined. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, so we have an office in Maluku. For those who know the road from Pearl Haven, I always direct, I, I always like directing people from that side. It is simpler. If you come from Pearl Haven, you reach a junction. And the first junction goes to a school, there is a school beside it. And then there's a secondary school the other side, and you leave this first junction. Then the second junction with a real road. Because this other one, the road is not graded. And when you reach the second junction with the border border stage, you turn to your right. I'm directing you from Pearl Haven Church. Okay? You come. When you reach the junction where border borders stage, you will turn to your right. And when you turn to your right, you'll just come to one house. After we church. Okay? This 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 house you are counting is in a fence. How do you call that fence? Chain link. Chain link. When you reach that chain link, you know you've reached UCMA office. The next one with the some fence of, of what? Flowers. Chogam flowers is where our head office is. Praise the Lord. Very soon you will get maybe a sign post there. Very, very soon. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let us know that UCMK is not about to collapse. I have heard, I have heard, some of us might have heard, people out there, people, some have been with us, and they say, ah, UCMK is finished. UCMA is no, no more. Praise the Lord. I want to assure you, not because I, I, I want to brag, not because I want to show you anything, but UCMA is no man's business. UCMA is God's business. Without you, without me, it will move. Praise the Lord. Let nobody scare you. Let nobody discourage you. Because UCMA is just starting work. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't expect a 10-year child to behave like a 30-year man. No. It is impossible. But wait for that man to reach 30 years. That is when you will see ministry begin to blossom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are living in a very bad time. Just as Ephesians says, Paul was telling the Ephesians and telling them in chapter 5 and verses 15 and 16. Praise the Lord. Be careful the way you live because the days are evil. Be careful the way you live. Praise the Lord. Use your time well. Maximize your time. Anytime you get friends, do not waste it. I know, I, I have always told people, Christians, Christians are very lazy. Christians are very lazy. Christians are very bossy. They get some things more and become bosses. Praise the Lord. I want to add to you, 2021, I may come with a different message to all of us. I am not going to encourage us to become bossy. I'm going to encourage you to work hard. Because Amen. we are not going to remain the same. Amen. Friends, I know God is blessing each of us with something at least. I don't want you to take that something little for granted. Little by little we are going to move far. Praise the Lord. Amen. I really advise us 
let us not sit. Let us put our heads to work. Let us not lament. You know, every time you keep lamenting, I am poor, I am bad off, I am this, the devil will capitalize on that. But the Bible says we are rich. Let the poor say, I am rich. Praise the Lord. You can never become rich until you put yourself to do something. The little you have, friends, people have sold pancakes and become rich. People have pushed wheelbarrows and have become rich. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do not sit. Do not sit. Do not sit. It's my message to you. Members, UCMA may not give you what to eat. But it is the God we serve that can provide to us. It is the God we serve that has said in his word, he will bless the works of our hands. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many people are not looking for something to do. They are waiting for that miracle. They are indoors and praying to God, praying and fasting day and night, waiting for God to throw a job at them. Never. Praise the Lord. It will not come. It will not come to you. Wake up and move out there. Find something that your hands will do. At the end of it all, I am very sure. Praise the Lord. Amen. While people were, moved, were lamenting, people were talking, I, I said, me, I'm going to dig. I dug. Friends, me, I don't buy food, some food at home. I just dig, keep, and eat the whole year. Those who have come to my home will know and will testify, I don't have a family of less than five members in my family. No, a big family. And I, I, I split it, a family in Kampala and a family in Bali. But what is keeping me is because I have learned to use my energy, my strength. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage someone here. I know Peter. Peter, do the work you do, the works you do. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Do not sit and wait for somebody to just give to you something. We have very many people here, professionals. Don't sit. If it has failed in your profession something, you're not yet there. Do something. The world today is going business-wise. Not because jobs are not there. Jobs are there, but you need money to buy a job sometimes. You may not have the money to buy the job, but you have the hands to start something and your job will find you there. Praise the Lord. Now if God has purpose that at 30 or at 40 you are going to get a job, you will get at that time, even if you pray and fast now, it may not come now until you are 40. Then God gives you walk into your job <laughs> at 40. At 40. Yes, there are people. I mean, you may, for you, you may develop in 10 years, but there's somebody who's going to develop in two months like this and he bypasses you. Praise the Lord. So I want to urge us, let us trust the Lord and put our heads and hands to work. Think about it. Just plan within you and say, this year I am not going to just sit. I'm going to find something to do. It does not matter whether you're in the village or you're where you can do something. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So as you see, hey, I really want to encourage you. As a coordinator, I want to encourage you. Serving God is no longer for those people who sit. Today I was telling people that maybe I was at home and I was, I was like, hmm, I am going to, I'm like dressing like Prophet Mbonye. Praise the Lord. And you know those prophets just sit and like, eh? Money comes. They just scare you with one word and money begins to come. Now, in this current ministry, you are not going to behave like that if you love Jesus. People who don't love Jesus are the people who are doing that. But people who love Jesus, people work and give to the ministry. 
so that people who love Jesus. But people who don't love Jesus are using the scriptures to get from the people they should be giving to. Praise the Lord. Amen. So friends, it's a hard time, a high time, that we begin to work to help the others. We begin to work to help ourselves get better. And stop lamenting, stop thinking Jesus has forgotten about you. Stop. I mean, you give God a matter as if you, you gave birth to God. Praise the Lord. He has given us hands. The little we are going to do, I am very sure God will bless us. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I want to encourage all of us. Now let 2021 be a year that you're going to find something, that you're going to see the Lord. You know, I love it when, when, I, when, when, when this, this prophet says, he says, when King, when King who died, Hosea, oh Hosea, <laughs> praise the Lord. He says, I saw the Lord. I do not know who, who is going to die for you to see the Lord. <laughs> I don't know what is going to die in you for you to see the Lord. I don't know what is going to die around you for you to see the Lord. But I, I, I am really praying that something dies for you to see the Lord in 2021. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you know, we need to move to another level. We need to move, we need to move to a level, not of our own, but we are God as purpose that in 2021 we must be at that level. You know the devil wants to take us back, back, back until you never reach where God wants it to be. But how I pray that we trust Jesus to take us to where he wants us to be this year. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now that is not going to come on a silver plate. That is going to come when you pray and you put yourself to think and work. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't relax. You know the world is today. Now the believers are overtaking believers because believers are in the back seat and they are praying and fasting and they are waiting for a miracle. Praise the Lord. They are waiting for that miracle that Jesus probably planned five years ahead. They want it to come now. And they are telling God, if you don't give me this, uh -uh, you, I am that beginning to doubt. Praise the Lord. Have you ever prayed a prayer and you are like telling Jesus, if you don't give me this, honestly, I feel discouraged. Eh? There are people who pray such prayers and you are like, what? God has, has better plans for each of us. No wonder sometimes, you know, somebody, you visit a brother or a sister and you're like, hey, this brother has gone far. And then you begin to, to lament in yourself. You begin to think you are a failure. No, that is his timing. Your timing is coming, praise the Lord. So let us trust God for our timing. Let us trust God. And I pray by the time that timing comes, you've not lost the faith. Because that can happen. Let us keep the faith. Let us keep the faith that we first lived. You know, Christ is there watching us daily as you wake up, as you walk. Step by step, Christ is with you. And he's waiting to see what you're doing. He's guiding you somewhere. But sometimes you reach a point and you divert your way. You want to get it faster than he was wishing you to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Put your brain, put your hands to work. I want to encourage somebody today. <laughs> that Jesus still lives. Jesus still thinks about you. Jesus still minds about you. And Jesus still knows a good plan. He has a still a good plan for your life, for your family. You cannot afford to lose that plan because it is in his blueprint. There, he 
looks at Chief Daly, he's looking at you and looking at your plan. How far you're going? Praise the Lord. So I beg you, do not divert your faith. Do not divert your faith. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to, I want to finish my remarks. But I, 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 I have taken more than I was supposed to take. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I want to thank God for what He's speaking to our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, God loves us. And He desires us to move to another level. No matter what we see now, we are great men and women in the kingdom. Praise the Lord. We are great men and women in the kingdom. I do not want you to get discouraged. You may hear words out there about UCMA, discouraging words, but do not listen to them. UCMA is for Jesus. UCMA is not for George, is not for Ivan, is not for Ben, is not for as you know, somebody was telling me, you know that thing is like for five people. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No, it's not. We shall pass away, but you see, we may not pass away. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, it will, it will remain. Our children's children will see you see a Praise the Lord. Amen. That is if we keep our faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. You will wonder. I keep telling people, this is not a church. That somebody will think hey, one day we shall eh, it will collapse. <laughs> no, it is not a church. Somebody from here can go and make a judge. And he, the person collapses as a judge as him. <laughs> <laughs> but you see him, eh, no. I want to make that very plainly clear to you, friends. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So you who are ambassadors of UCM, when you walk out there, walk with your heads high. Because you know this is not about to become a church. No, it's not. Somebody, I mean, ministers can, God can, has called us differently. We have pastors. We are not, UCM is not going to say that don't form a church. No, God has called somebody to make a church fine. We support the person. So when that person probably mishandles it and it fails, it's not UCMA. Praise the Lord. This one, you should have it clear. I'm saying this because I know people out there are, are mistaking UCMA and they are thinking it's going to form a church. It's about to become a church and it is dying. Praise the Lord. It is not. Praise the Lord. I speak passionately about UCMA because I know where we are going. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name of the Lord for you who are here. I know there are people out there who wish to, to come, but they have not been able. But I want to appreciate God for you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. When time comes for you to go back, please, I wish you the best. However, don't forget, we love you as you see your pain very, very much. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you get time, we do not have appointments that you have to appoint, get an appointment to, to go to our office. No. In fact, it, it is simple. The key of the office is always around the office. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> if you want to go and pray and fast in that office, you just ask for where the key is, and they will show you, and you go. So those who are, you know, there was some, there was somebody who, was, who used to tell me, and first, but the environment I am in doesn't allow me. As you see, if you have such a challenge, just call us. We tell you where the key is. You go. Shanda until you feel you are tired and you get out. You get out. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>
this pressure and encouragement. Our national coordinator. Indeed, I did not want you to finish your remarks, but uh, I think how much it's about it has been so wonderful. This is the United Christian Mission Army. And no matter the word of God will never pass away. All the things of the world can pass away, but this is the word of God. The only people who blame UCMA are the people who don't understand our mission, our vision, and all about us. Praise Jesus. Personal I'm blessed because um, one, United Christian Missionist Army, I'm blessed. Praise Jesus. I remember one time in the Bible, some people said silver and gold we don't have. But what we have is what we give. Praise Jesus. I will benefit a lot from United Christian Missions Army. Because there is a time I had serious issues. But most of uh, our leaders from UCMA contacted me. And indeed, if they had given me food, it was going to be useless. But the prayer that they gave me worked. Hallelujah. Amen. So if that man who was just at the gate, remember he was given food, and he was still a beggar. The situation did not change. But a prayer worked for the rest of his life. We know that God has good plans for us. He says, I know the plans I have. I don't plan to hurt you. I don't plan to destroy you. I don't plan to harm you. But I plan to give you hope. And I plan to give you a good future. When I hear the word of God and when God says, I am the Lord of all flesh, there is nothing that is too hard for me. I know God has spoken. And he cannot change his mind. Hallelujah. Amen. The only thing is that I don't understand God's appointed time. God has his timing. We always want to cause things to happen. But God's timing is the best. His plan is perfect. And it prevails. I, was just, I cannot repeat the words that Papa said. But he was speaking to my soul. He has encouraged us in all aspects of life. I'd like to welcome our sister and brother. They came in after, but uh, I'll not tell them to say hi. Maybe if we get time. But right now, I know we have, all of us have testimonies. Only that I'm going to limit. If you have a testimony, let me see. If you have a testimony and you feel like sharing with us, we have people who have testimonies, but uh, they are not convicted to share. They have <laughs> uh, uh, If you have a testimony, please, want to see the number so that they know how to count. If you have a testimony, and you feel like sharing with us, there is one. I also have a testimony.
that whole semester has gone in every day. When we just came out, I had passed all the papers. And <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a dream to me. Because actually, I those who knew what I was going through. Before I saw the results, for them, they had already seen. They kept looking for me. I was hiding somewhere, praying. Now when I came out like this, even if I just did you pass, you pass in class. I, I told them which papers, because I had very many. And unfortunately, some of them were not even displayed. I told them they had many papers. These ones are passed, but there are more papers I need to look for. But God was faithful that at the end, I passed them all. We entered the last semester, my just COVID came in, but I was sure of doing exams in June. So actually very many of my friends got to the test. Around 50 something number remained. They also they got a refer of another semester. But God gave it to me, I went to go late. Now we did exams. You know, when something has been happening on you over and over, when the president said finalists should go back and do the exam. You know, we went to back and we did the exams, we came back. But then, yeah, when we entered, you now this year started. When we reached around in February, my soul told me the results are soon coming out. Every day, whenever I think of them, my heart was full, so this I'm like, what is this again? I even dreamt three times I've gotten two returns. If for hours, I don't know, I think the Bible says as a man thinketh, so, so he is. Sometimes what you think can even come out that way. So, but then, all in all, I kept singing and saying, God, but you have been faithful with me from the beginning. But I am believing you for this exams. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, this week I was there. I was, I work in Amos there in a certain workshop. And uh, on Thursday I got a dream that the results had been released. Then uh, one person was calling me, and I woke up when the person had not told me what I had got. I was so hard, like singer, I had dreamt and this person tells me the whole thing. You know, I was so happy. You know, I was so happy. But then, uh, <laughs> yesterday I was, I was there, I was working. It was at, at around 7 there in the evening. I just saw him, I saw him. Then one of them saw the story, me, just yes, as if he has a message on your phone. Then I checked, the other people had sent me like three messages. But everyone they are saying, congratulations, you have passed. If I come back, I passed my exam. <laughs>
the day she was going to go and raise Jesus. Yeah. But uh, she reached there and she did not die. Now, <laughs> she went there again. Again, when she was going to give birth, there was a prophetess. I am told a prophetess in the church who prophesied and said she was going to die while giving birth. And it was hard. We stood in prayer. We prayed. And that devil was fighting, but we know he served a mighty God. When she reached the hospital, the child was not in the right position, and they declared the operation. She went in for operation, and the life was so, actually, the situation was critical. All people knew that she was going to die. But God has the final say. Praise God. Amen. Uh, after the operation, they were all alive, the baby and the sister, only that she developed a mental problem from the 3rd of December. Up to, up to just there was a time I talked to Papa Ivan, he contacted me. She was, my sister was not uh, in her normal senses. She struggled a lot. She's also a teacher. They brought her at home, and just within the same time, my cousin sister got a miscarriage. Just uh, within the same still, my aunt, the one that I came with to Sembachi, was sick and they just contacted us. She was not speaking, she was not doing anything. And the only solution was to bring her home. And at home, we did not, I think I was almost the only person at home. Praise Jesus. The situation became hard. I couldn't go anywhere. I was just there taking care of the baby, taking care of the sick people. And indeed, but I knew that uh, the Lord would never disappoint us. We stood in prayer. Everything was difficult, but I thank God. And if everyone who contacted, all the people who used to contact me, I'll just speak. I put a smile on my face and say, everything is all right. Because I know that God I serve, praise Jesus. But as a testimony, I was consumed time, narrating everything, whatever happened. As I speak now, my sister has improved, and she went back to do her interviews. Praise Jesus. And as I speak, my aunt is well. She can now move. She can do everything that she wants to do. Praise Jesus. I remember that night, Papa Ivan contacted me. And when he, when he was asking me, I said, everything is going well, Papa. And said, no. Please, how are you? Are you all right? When I narrated, he just told, please tell me the names of those people. I want to start, I want us to believe. He prayed. And indeed, the following day, there was a great improvement. I'm just humbled. I'm grateful. I thank God for this mighty team, for the powerful men and the powerful women of God. Praise Jesus. Amen. These men of God, these women of God are working. Don't think that it's just a matter of uh, financial assistance and anything. Praise Jesus. <coughs> you might not see someone who's prayed it, but someone who's prayer will have an impact. Praise Jesus. Amen. I think uh, all this movie is done. I'd just like to welcome our brother to tell us his name. Just tell us his name. Where you come from? Praise the Lord.
Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have a song and you feel like a ministry, okay. Praise Jesus.
where some people meet here and they say, Papa, we are supporting the ministry with some money. We are supporting the ministry with this item. So the whole total of the resources that we collected in 2020 amounted to 903,200 shillings. And uh, we also had people who contributed in kind. That means they were not able to give us the monies, but they also contributed in kind, certain things that are supporting this ministry. And we had chairs and uh, some Christian literature. Uh, the coordinator was here and was telling us that we have a, an office, and in that office, if you go there, you'll happen to find chairs there, and you'll happen to find some Christian literature in that office. Those are some of the contributions that we received that year, amongst others. I was not able to document all that that other people did, but those are the few that I had cited out. And then the expenditure, we had the annual general meeting.